Hey. I'm Gavin. Hey, I'm Brent. Where are you from, Brent? I'm from Stettler, Alberta. I want to share about a story from a downtown in, uh, actually not here in Red Deer, but uh, in, in Europe. We went downtown and a bunch of us, kind of similar to what we do here in Red Deer, we uh, just kind of meet in a busy place and then split up from there and kind of see what God wants to do and just try to follow wherever he's going. So we took me like 10 steps and I immediately noticed a guy sitting by himself on this bench by a, a fountain there. He seemed very like depressed and kind of down. And so I felt like I should go talk to him. And so I go and we sit down beside this guy and say hi and uh, he was very like, you know, using one word answers and not really talking a whole lot to me. And then he's like, I, had, I don't speak English. And I was like, okay, well, I, I wasn't just gonna get up and walk away because I felt like I was supposed to talk to him. So I was like, well, what country are you from? You know, because he doesn't speak English, so. And he said, uh, Pakistan. And uh, I was like, cool. I've never been there, but I'd like to go. And just kept talking with him. And, and he just kept talking with me, even though he didn't speak English. And so he started talking about Jesus. And he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm a Muslim. And, you know, I believe Jesus is a prophet. And, you know, that's the only difference between me and you. And, and I was like, that's cool, man. Like, I'm not judging you for what you believe. Like, I just, I love you and I, I see the value in your life because of what God made you to be. I think I asked to pray for him. Or no, I was explaining how I pray and see, uh, you know, miracles in people's life. And that's why, I, that's why I asked to pray for him. And he's like, oh, yeah, I actually have, like, diabetes. And I was like, oh, well can I pray for you? And he's like, yeah, that's fine. And, uh, and then he also said like, yeah, I'm, I'm also sitting here because I just found out my wife has cancer and I'm not just relaxing or chilling here. You know, he was, he was like thinking about life and kind of hard times. So, so I asked if I could pray for him that too, for that too. And he's like, yeah, that's fine. And so, I prayed, you know, a couple minutes for his body and for his wife and everything. And when I said I'm amen, I look over at him and he's just, there's tears running down his face and he's just crying like he was just touched. And uh, he was kind of embarrassed because guys are, guys don't cry in, in public, you know, in front of other people. And I was like, hey, wait. And I like, opened up my wallet and I grabbed 20 bucks and I'm like, here, man, this is for you to get some flowers for your wife. And he's just like crying. He's like, no, man, no, I, no, I'm okay. Like, you've done enough already. And he's just crying and he takes off. He was just like, just touched. So it was really cool. You know, from the very start where he, would, he was just totally close to me. He didn't want to talk, saying he doesn't speak English, lying to me. And then just talking with him and saying that I love him, not judging him. He totally opened up, totally shifted. He's a Muslim, he let me pray for him, and it was just amazing.